No, the reason I asked the question is that we're in the process of developing a new strategy and reviewing the previous one. So that was also interesting to gather some ideas uh, during this meeting and to understand uh, what we can start thinking differently or what we can include and so on. So Transparency International Lithuania founded in 2000, so we are working for more than uh, 20 years in Lithuania. We're a public policy, public advocacy organization. Um, I've been with the organization for eight years and a half, uh, currently in the role of interim CEO. Um, so that's about the organization. Uh, in general, we focus on strategic objectives, and that's maybe something different in comparison to some civil society organizations, that we don't focus on projects. We see projects as a source of funding that could help uh, achieve the goals that we have, and sometimes some of the activities are more intense, some are less intense, but we continue the same uh, strategic uh, line. And our strategic objectives currently are people, so meaning engaging uh, as many citizens in uh, our activities or empowering them to be the owners of their own cities and the country uh, as possible by providing civic tech tools, by engaging into discussions, uh, by helping them find the information that they're looking for and so on. Secondly is by creating standards and uh, we have developed uh, transparency standards for companies, for municipalities, so that's similar to what Elena said about uh, municipal openness index uh, um, and so on. And finally, is the sustainable activity of uh, TI Lithuania. Uh, focusing more on the local projects, perhaps a couple of them that might be useful uh, for this group. Um, is one every four years, uh, which is the term of municipal uh, elections, we carry out municipal transparency ranking and we show how municipalities look like in comparison to each other and we have 60 municipalities in the country and we repeat it every term to see if they improved or not and uh, how many changes were made during, during the term and also inside the methodology we have um, an aspect that we help municipalities to improve their score so that it's not a naming and shaming exercise, but we carry out the initial assessment, we send the results to the municipalities, and we ask them if we found everything that we were looking for. Maybe something is not on the website, maybe they didn't think about publishing this information, maybe they didn't realize that this is something important and so on. So they have an opportunity to review the information, to update it, and to send it back to us. And usually around 10% of municipalities uh, do this, and this is something that we also calculate uh, uh, in other methodologies of standards. This is, in a way, our measure of success. We know that it's around 10% of the change that, uh, that we create. And we know that this is because of us, because without this methodology, the change wouldn't, uh, wouldn't happen. Secondly, we in Lithuania have uh, a new lobbying regu regulation in the country, uh, which has a cross-declaration requirement, meaning that both politicians and decision makers and lobbyists have to declare the instances uh, of uh, lobbying and have to do it publicly. And currently, we are the only country with this cross-declaration requirement. And so we also checked uh, how many meetings uh, um, local government officials declare publicly uh, and we publish this uh, on a rolling basis. So this is also to encourage them to, to report the meetings and to help them understand that a good politician is the transparent and accountable politician and not the one who sits alone in the office and pretends that all the proposals come from his or her head. <laughs> And that lobbying is uh, a bad thing and nobody should talk about it. So that's about the meetings uh, that they have. And the third example that I wanted to share is participatory budgeting. So for the last four years, we've been actually actively advocating for having participatory budgeting in Lithuania. Four years ago, we had uh, one municipality who had it. Now we have two thirds of municipalities in the country. 
and they already uh, um, dedicated around 4 million euros for citizens to decide how to spend this money in their communities. And we have around 30 schools uh, who do this as well. So the, we see this as a tool to engage uh, citizens and to help them be part of decision making as opposed to just passively taking part uh, in it. So regarding the pandemic, very briefly, um, I think the biggest challenge was transferring to online environment and keeping the dynamic of the team and uh, having all the processes set up uh, from the scratch, because we had some of them, but we are mainly focusing on working in the physical space in the office and uh, in a common room, and then we had to work remotely with people and for a long period of time. So I would say this was one of the, one of the bigger challenges. Thank you.